I do have to wonder, at what point do you get back involved here, uh, given how low some of these prices have gotten? Well, these valuations are certainly starting to look more attractive, Lisa. Uh, the key is that the government is trying to buy some time. Uh, investors and depositors want some clarity on the medium-term economic outlook. The current government can't provide that because it's likely to lose the election at the end of October. And the incoming uh, or the opposition doesn't want to provide that because they're still focused on winning that election. Uh, so these capital controls are designed to buy some time, uh, to stem demand for dollars, boost supply of dollars in the local market. Um, I don't think it'll be the end of the story by any means. We're, we're still seeing deposit outflows, uh, particularly of dollar deposits. Uh, reserves fell by another billion dollars yesterday in Buenos Aires, which was, which was open. Um, so th th there could be a little further to go, but we're certainly nearer the bottom than the, than the top at this stage. So uh, we were down in, in Buenos Aires in July, ahead of the primaries. Uh, felt then that too much good news was priced in. We, we cut risk in our portfolios. But at these kind of levels, I think not just distressed, but, uh, but dedicated investors are going to start to look at, uh, at adding to positions again. Are they actually starting to do that, or are they just looking at it at this point? I think at this stage they're looking at it. Uh, we've still got almost two months to go until the election uh, actually takes place. Uh, there's a lot of uncertainty around the stance that the IMF will take. Uh, there's a pending disbursement from the IMF, but then more importantly, uh, we need to see a renegotiation of that agreement as well as a, a reprofiling of some of the shorter term debt, which the government has already announced. Right. So there's a lot more that, uh, that needs to happen in the, in the near term, but, but certainly these valuations are more attractive. And I think the comparison with Venezuela is, is exaggerated. You know, Venezuela has, has had a, a, a very autocratic government for the best part of two decades now. The opposition in, in Argentina certainly doesn't intend to take, uh, take the country down the same route.